Now, former Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak's wife, Rosma Mansour, has been charged with 17 offences, including money laundering and tax evasion involving $1.7 million. The former First Lady was arrested on Wednesday by the country's anti-graft agency, which is investigating the loss of billions of dollars from the 1MDB state investment fund. She was later released on bail, but faces a fine of $1.2 million and a jail sentence of up to 15 years. Rosma has pleaded not guilty to all charges. Her husband, Naji, has also denied 32 charges relating to the alleged embezzlement. Now, earlier I spoke to Claire Rucastle brown She's the founder of the Sarawak Report, an online investigative journalism resource which helped uncover the scandal. She says the charges against the former First Lady and her husband are just the tip of the iceberg. I think people have to understand uh, the position that Rosma held. Um, obviously, it was a totally informal one, but everyone in Malaysia knows that Rosma was an extremely powerful person in the government of her husband, Najib Razak. Um, they, were, they, were, they were thought of as the Mr. and Mrs. of Malaysia. Um, they ran things together. She's an extremely dominant woman, um, a, a, a quite terrifying woman, many people found her. And she was definitely the gatekeeper to her husband for people wanting to um, get contracts and, and, and so forth. Um, and she and her husband did business together and separately, um, abusing uh, their influence in government. And, and I can say that because there's enough information of that nature. Um, these particular charges, therefore, I think everybody in Malaysia realizes are the tip of the iceberg for her, just as the charges uh, relating to her husband are the tip of the iceberg um, in most people's perception with regard to, to his activities. Um, she's, being, she's now being charged over seven um, million ringgit that she deposited in cash um, into accounts over a certain period of time, um, and also being charged for not having declared um, that money for tax. Now, I go back, I mean, I did my first story on uh, Rosma's cash deposits uh, back at the very start of this scandal in 2015, when I got investigation papers um, that related, I've got them here actually, um, which were leaked for, from the investigation. I got these in 2015, and um, they show how over a period of uh, just over one month, um, the uh, sum of two million ringgit was paid in cash into one of Rosma's accounts in KL. But